token label matters. For over a week now, members of the Private Telecommunications and Communication Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Texan under Huawei Technologies Nigeria, have been on an indefinite strike in response to what the union members describe as the company's persistent disregard for proper working conditions. Today, the union members picketed the company's headquarters in Lagos, vowing to continue the strike until their demands are met. Texan says Huawei has made no efforts to meet with the union or address their concerns, maintaining a cavalier attitude that has prolonged the industrial action. Now, Texan General Secretary Okono Abdullahi told reporters that the, uh, the union's demands include the immediate reinstatement of three unjustly terminated members, recognition of employees' right to freely associate with the union, and the union's formal recognition as the negotiating body for worker welfare issues. <laughs> We are here today to picket uh, the offices, the headquarters of Huawei Technologies Nigeria Limited. Uh, we have, uh, before this time, we have been having running battle with them, and unsuccessfully, we are at different fora, reaching to them, trying to get their attention. And as a as a matter of fact, at a point in time, we even had the Federal Minister of Labour coming around to intervene on the matter. They conciliated, they tried to conciliate, but unfortunately, the pseudo companies, Huawei Technologies uses uh, to, to uh, employ these guys, uh, did not make themselves available. And uh, you see, the precarious uh, working conditions our members are subjected to is why we are here. You see a situation whereby we have uh, workers that there are several layers of employment. Uh, you see a situation whereby network providers uh, at source projects to Huawei, Huawei in turn at source to another companies. Those companies also in turn at source these workers. So at the end of the day, it is difficult for you to pin anybody down. When you go to this, the so-called SBCs, they will tell you that they are limited, their hands are tight. You go to Huawei, Huawei will tell you uh, they do not have, uh, what do you call it, they are not their staff. And as a matter of fact, we have come to the realization that it is only workers that has any relationship with Huawei that are subjected to, majorly subjected to these ridiculous working conditions. Texan is demanding the immediate approval of the National Health Insurance Scheme. The enrollment of union members in the group life insurance as stipulated in the 2004 Pension Reform Act and the introduction of standard work hours in accordance with international best practices. They are also calling for an end to the current 24-hour job schedule, among other demands. This is a situation whereby salaries of workers remain stagnant for years. In order for you to be going up, they go down. Yeah? Then apart from that, this set of workers, the field engineers, the field workers, because of whom we are here today, they do not have uh, uh, work hours, meaning that they are expected to be working 24 hours. Their phone must not go off. They can call, they call upon them to attend to issues, even at the wee hours of, of the night, without security whatsoever. This is a situation, despite the, the, the state of the condition of service which they face, they don't have even the basic, the statutory requirement, the statutory benefits that our law stipulates, they do not have the aid in place for them. One, health insurance facilities is not for them. They do not have their pension. Yeah. Like, likewise, group life assurance is also missing. Then apart from that also, like I said, their salaries remain stagnant. Uh, there is something like, a, uh, according to ILO conventions, yeah, at least this set of workers should, will be, should have minimum of 20, 21 working days as leave and with leave uh, allowances. But all these things are not in place. You know, there are several issues and we are telling them, okay, fine. Come around as a union, these guy, these workers, this set of employees, they have associated themselves with the union. And it is their inalienable right to belong to Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.